Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. In association with... ActionFigureJunkies.com Check them out on Facebook. Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another flea market finds! Now, I was at my local flea market, the Emporium 31, on the south side of Indianapolis, and I, uh, you know, I found some really cool stuff at uh, my favorite uh, vendor, actually. They call him the Toy Man. He's got all kinds of shotguns, uh, the Littlest Pet Shop, Legos, and he's known for the 5 for 5 bin and uh, other great stuff. He's a really good guy. You gotta go uh, check out one of my favorite honey holes. Uh, he's always got stuff. He comes in every other day and he's just refilling his toy bin. And uh, first up, I found this there. This was awesome. This is an Optimus Prime figure from uh, Transformers. Uh, I believe this is Robots in Disguise. One of the bigger figures, definitely kind of cool. He kind of has this uh, elite guard kind of look about him, and uh, I got him for three dollars. Uh, so that was a very, very cool. I uh, unfortunately don't have any of the weapons uh, that he would have come with. I'm pretty sure he would have had a sword. One of the bigger figures, definitely kind of cool. He kind of has this uh, elite guard kind of look about him, and uh, I got him for three dollars. Uh, so that was a very, very cool. I uh, unfortunately don't have any of the weapons uh, that he would have come with. I'm pretty sure he would have had a sword. But the figure is in really good shape and fully transforms, and that's what's important. And I gotta say, I really do like the color scheme on this guy. Can't wait to review him. And then I picked up a 5 for 5 here, which is really, really cool. My favorite thing about going uh, to his uh, bin. Let's see what we got today. All right, so uh, first up is a 1999 Kenner Batman figure. Um, I'm not really sure what this is from, but I really like the bat wings on the back of him. And he is in damn near perfect shape. If you know what this uh, figure goes to, definitely leave a comment below. But I am really, really digging this Batman figure. Uh, he is really, really raucous and uh, an awesome find for a dollar. And then we've got another Transformer. It's from the Bayformer universe. I'm not really sure which movie this is from. This is one of the toy uh, figures. He never actually made it into a movie. He's a little dune buggy. And he says 0318, so that's kind of interesting. Um, if you know who this figure is, leave a comment below. I'm not really sure. have not got to uh, go out and research him yet, but he is complete and transforms. And then another figure for a buck is uh, this uh, Transformers uh, Robots in Disguise. It's actually two figures in one. It's a strong arm and Optimus Prime. They separate here in the middle and they quick connect. And I like the concept of these figures. I've uh, done some reviews on them before. Uh, but uh, I really thought they were kind of overpriced, but for a dollar, uh, this definitely is worth the money. So I will uh, be reviewing that guy coming up soon. And then I picked up another old school uh, figure for retro review. This is a Venom figure, and again, I think this is from Kenner. I really like this figure. I'm not sure what he's from. If you know, leave a comment down below. Lots of a really cool translucent plastic uh, for the Venom. Uh, I guess he's getting over-venomed. I'm not really sure what's going on with him, but he definitely looks awesome. Uh, and uh, I had to pick him up for a buck. Uh, he looks really, really fun and gruesome. And then the final figure I picked up was a Power Girl figure. And uh, she's very comic booky looking. Uh, she's got a little bit of paint damage, especially on her boobs right there. Looks like she's got some nipples going on. And then the cape has uh, some scuff marks. Uh, but that's from uh, play and use, I'm going to guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall, I really like the figure. I just got to do a little touch up on her. Uh, I'm not sure what she's from, but I'm going to guess it's one of the comic book uh, series. And uh, let's see, can I tell where she is from? It just says DC Comics. 
does not tell me which line. I'm presuming this is probably going to be one of the DC uh, Comics uh, collectibles labels. But I'm not really sure. But yeah, definitely a fun little pickup and not bad for $8. So there it is, this week's Flea Market Finds, an $8 extravaganza. Uh, look for reviews on these figures coming soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.